I'm Rosabra de Jesus, and now uh, I'm going to be giving some examples of wrist positioning for different x-rays of the wrist. So I'm going to be using a 10 by 12 cassette, and the SID for all of these images is going to be 40 inches. I'm going to be using my left hand for the different examples, and we're going to start with the P2A wrist. So we will place our hand like this, the P2A wrist, and we see that the central ray is going to go through the mid-carpal area and the collimation is going to include um, the, the carpals and the um, proximal metacarpals and the distal ulna and radius. So now we're gonna be doing the oblique wrist. We're gonna place our hand like this. So the center ray is, gonna, is going to be going through the, dis, the distal radius and the collimation is going to be around the carpals. Um, and then we're going to be doing lateral wrist and for the lateral wrist the central ray is going to be going uh, through the wrist and the collimation is going to be in the lateral metacarpals uh, the proximal uh, metacarpals and the distal radius and ulna